It is currently March, which is also my birthday month, so I wanted to make this little Pisces inspired makeup look. I'm going to show you guys how to do it. First things first, I'm going to have to take off this hoodie because I don't want to get it dirty. A magic trick. Woo! So I want to get my hair off my face, so I'm just going to get my bangs out with a little bobby pin. And I'm going to moisturize with this squalene and vitamin C serum really like it especially during the winter um, my face gets really dry and I find that this helps me a lot and it has also helped me with clearing out my little dark spots massaging my face I couldn't help but get kind of sleepy after this I'm gonna use the elf poreless putty primer to warm it up in my fingers and then I'm just gonna place that in again by just feeling the little softness of this ugh, I was getting kind of sleepy oh I actually grew up watching Michelle Phan and Promise Fan um, also known as Dope 211 so I was little I always wanted to make little YouTube videos like them here it is then I'm using the Incognito Mega Last Wet n Wild Concealer just to prime my lids when I prime the lids I find it a little bit much easier for the eyeshadow to stick and it also makes the color a little bit more vibrant using this little flat brush I'm just going to tap it in to my eyelid and then here you can kind of see the difference then with a small fluffy brush I'm using my take me back to Brazil palette this little light shade of blue making a little curve the inner corner of my eyes I'm using the natural structure of my face as a guide in where light usually hits you can see it's also very light so I'm taking this little shimmer shadow since I already have that little outline I'm just gonna go over it and also kind of emphasize that inner corner again I'm then going to take that same concealer to just kind of clean up. I want it to look somewhat like a little cut crease. I want the cut crease to go all the way, so I kind of ended the little color around less than the middle of my eyebrow. I wanted to somewhat achieve this little look of the little Pisces sign. The darker blue, I'm going to emphasize that little shape that I made, and I'm just putting that on the outside of the shape, creating a little shadow. And then what I did on the other eye, I'm going to do on this one. We're not done with the eyes, but I'm going to go ahead and start my little base. So I'm using the Clinique foundation. I'm going to be trying the little spatula technique. I got this from the little cake section from the dollar store. Technique works. Or at least, I think it does. Just look at how light the foundation looks in here. I'm actually kind of shocked because I didn't know the foundation match was this good. I hear that the spatula technique also allows the face to look a little bit more natural and it also makes the foundation look less cakey and I will say I did notice that. It gives good coverage but also it doesn't make it look that cakey. I took a little fluffy foundation brush and I'm going to use that to blend out my foundation. I really like this brush. It's from the Il Makagi foundation but the brush is really good i'm taking my elf hydrating camo concealer so i'm gonna place it under my eyes i also heard that this makes the concealer not crease so easily from the days i have been trying it i will say that i did notice that it doesn't crease as much as when you put the concealer all in your under eyes also gonna blend this inward and outward I'm trying to keep the coverage even, that way it doesn't look so cakey. And trying to clean off that little shape that I made. Sometimes when I'm cleaning off that shape, I am also trying to blend it because I don't want it to look so harsh. Just kind of blending out the little concealer. If you are a painter, I think that makeup is another way for you to lease your inner artist. Yeah. Then again, cleaning up that little shape. And as you can see, it's very harsh. Um, so I'm trying to blend it out. That way it doesn't look that weird. And here you can kind of see a difference. It's going to show the little motions that I was making. Don't worry, we are going to focus again on the eyes. This is not how it's going to be at the end. Also may look that the concealer is blended out nicely, but we are going to go again with the fluffy brush and just blend that out. That way, nothing is kind of left unblended. Yeah, I really love making colorful makeup looks, so I will be trying to make more of these videos. And this is how the face looks right now. In the blue from the beginning, I'm going to place that on the outer corner of my eye, like so. So placing some um, underneath my eye. 
and also since this blue is very light i like to use this kind of like as an outline to see if i am gonna like this little shape that i'm gonna make outer corner is a little bit darker so that way i am also kind of connecting it but not fully to the other side that i made there to be a little blank space kind of again making that little shape that i showed you earlier it all depends on the preference of how you want the color to look like for me i'm just building up the color um i always wanted to do little makeup tutorials but i was always like very self-conscious that i was like oh my god people are gonna judge me but then i was like you know what i'm gonna do it because i want to do it so yeah that's another reason why i'm doing this also because i really enjoy this i'm gonna take those same colors and i'm just gonna put it under my eye and as you can see it's very light so it's there but it's not really there whatever i did to that other eye i'm gonna do it to this eye also started off this video not knowing exactly how to do it so it was just very like an experiment to see how the makeup look would come out far i think i'm liking it then taking the madison miller highlight i'm gonna place that on my eyelid also kind of just blending that out taking it darker again i'm going to add a little bit more depth into that blue that i have shimmer shadow i want it to be kind of like water um i want it to shimmer just a little but not too much and i'm gonna take these little pearls get them from any craft store I'm taking a little pearl and i'm gonna place that into where the lines would connect but they're not with this side you can do it however you want this is just kind of how my mind thought of putting them also just putting some in my inner corner and under my eyelid i don't want to put more pearls around but then i didn't want it to take the attention too much from the blue again it all can be however you want to do it this very small flat brush i'm taking another darker darker blue and again i'm gonna add more depth because i think it does need a little bit more also just blending that out so there's no harsh lines on the inside doing the same on this one again it all has to do with however you feel like you want it personally i did think that it did need more depth so i think it looks much better like this here's how it's looking so far with a more water like wet look i'm taking my nyx butter gloss i see it on my hand so it doesn't get all blue and then taking a little flat brush again and i'm gonna place that clear glue on my eyelid the center is where i put the shimmer shadow with the shimmer and the gloss can have a little bit more wet sparkly effect but again not too much this look is kind of a mermaid pisces inspired look i wanted to also have that little like wet look like you just came out of the ocean you are a fish but what are we gonna do with the brows i'm gonna take this white face paint and this little flat brush and i'm just gonna brush out my eyebrows with this the same time just kind of making them stay still it is gonna lighten up my eyebrows just a tiny bit i'm gonna do the same thing to the other eyebrow my first time making this look i didn't know really how to do my eyebrows we'll get to them later i'm taking my loose face powder and setting my face i was thinking i wanted a little dewy look but i'm choosing to go matte on this one again it also has to do with the preference however you want to do it I, on the other hand, wanted to do it matte. After that, I'm going to take a big fluffy brush and take off any excess powder that I might have left. For the contour, I wanted to make it a little bit extra too, so I'm going to use these blues. You can use darker blues or lighter blues. I chose these blues and I'm going to use that as a contour. You just want to do the eye makeup and just a regular contour, then you can do that too. Um, since I was trying to make a fun little look, I am choosing blue. So I think the little eyes are very simple. So I think if you were to wear this out and about, I think it would be a cute look too. I'm just kind of focusing on my cheeks a little bit on my forehead, but mostly the cheeks. And I'm going to take some highlighter and just use that too. That little glowy fish look.
And I'm gonna take some blue and just put that on my nose to give it a little bit of a fun effect. Don't get too carried away like I did because at the end I kind of ended up looking like Violet from Willy Wonka. For the lips, I kind of wanted a little bit of an ombre effect. I'm taking some dark blue and just putting that on the inside of my lips. Then I started blending this outwards, although I think I shouldn't have because I really thought that it was going to become lighter at the end, but it didn't. But I actually kind of ended up liking this. I'm using the light blue shimmer shadow to add it to the top. To give it that little wet look, I'm going to use the clear butter gloss. I think I should have just left it like this, but I decided to just play around with it a little bit more. You can use also whatever color you would like. The weather has been so crazy lately because just a few days ago it was really warm and now it's like snowing. And this is how it looks right now. Very dark, very blue. Then taking this little fishnet, get this from a little stocking or from a little stropajo, the things that you shower with. And I'm going to take a little blue, you can use whatever blue you want. And it's going to give you that little fish scale effect, which is what we're going for. We're becoming a little fish today. So yeah, it can be whatever blue you want. Um, I'm doing this again on the bottom. And this is how it looks. Then I'm going to take some little pearls and just going to add that into my face. It can be in whatever pattern you want. I added pearls because pearls are in the ocean and we are a little fish. So, you know. Going to curl my lashes. You can also add falsies if you want. I am adding that little white face paint on my under eyelashes. And I didn't record to you, but I added with a spoolie brush um, some white face paint on my eyebrows too. And this is how the face looks. Um, I also added some mascara on my eyelids and then I'm going to place a little bit more glossy gloss on my face to give it that little wet effect. This is the finished makeup look and then when we change into our little mermaid outfit, this is how we look. Little mermaid, little Pisces, little fish in the ocean. How about you, but I really like this. If you enjoyed, thank you for watching and bye bye.